Keys, Virgin Ones, Virgo, this is your message from May 2024. This message is also likely to resonate with Gemini Risings as the fourth house is highlighted right now and the fourth house area of life. It does concern private matters, especially as it relates to your home. It is real estate and your history, especially as it relates to your family, your roots, your foundation. And for me, it's the incarnation house, right? The house that gives more information about previous life experiences or whatever it's hitting for. But whether or not you have Virgo in the fourth house or not, aka a Gemini rising, the fourth house is important for Virgo this month. And this is the second time Gemini, uh, Gemini Risings came out. So if you want to check out the cancer message that I did yesterday, because Gemini Risings was that in that message too. Anyway, what's surrounding Virgo at this time is showing up through the poverty card, right? So whether or not Poverty is someone's economic status, their reality right now. Whether it is or not, it's absolutely on somebody's mind, right? With the third and 11th houses on the bottom of the deck, as well as the thoughts, the toil and labor, the high honor, and the official person cards also on the bottom of the deck, I'm getting for the most part that this is someone that at the very least they're underemployed or undercompensated as far as they're concerned. If this person is someone of significant means, basically the idea of not having a certain amount of money or status is why they work the way that they do, right? Family responsibility or obligation is likely some kind of pressure here too. Now, I got to call it, have a card, see it, and how I feel it. And either Virgo or someone Virgo is dealing with is not happy at all right now, right? I'm going to call that person Virgo for the sake of this message. And Virgo demands more attention right now. Or they're in a spiteful type mood, envious, jealous, upset that they would like to create with a particular thing or with a particular person, but it's not happening right now, again, for lack of attention or whatever the situation is. And although things are fair when it comes to effort or some type of shared resource, this person is not satisfied. They have a problem with something that is slow to grow or to manifest in their life. They're likely even frustrated that they can't explain exactly what they feel or when they do explain it they feel misunderstood and I just got the word misrepresented there's that right if you do nothing else this month Virgo do this there is shadow work around stability career responsibility money and success things like that that needs to be handled and because I'm getting a vibe of um someone who's getting again they, there's reciprocity here but virgo is not satisfied and actually wants more right there there's something here that is you know maybe virgo um agreed to some type of compensation or agreement or effort but now it's a problem because it's not enough uh, something like that um virgo has a problem with considering the moon is on the deck twice in reverse absolutely shadow work must be done this person likely has a pisces cancer or maybe even a capricorn moon and right now it should be less about trying to get more from whatever it is virgo is dealing with and it should be more about getting it from something that's already currently available and ready, ready and willing to offer and provide whatever it is that Virgo is seeking right now, okay? There is no need for conflict in this scenario at all. Whoever Virgo is dealing with probably is even unaware of exactly why Virgo acts the way that they are acting right now or kind of, it gives a, like a little bit of oblivious, like what's really going on with you, Virgo, or whoever this is, right? Anyway. What's aligned for Virgo right now is manifestation, right? But interacting with something that you don't desire only man manifests more of that in your life. So therefore, you must do the 
simple thing, but maybe not so easy thing of detaching from what it is that you don't want and actually being relating to and operating in a space of what you do want. So then therefore it materializes in your physical life, AKA manifestation. Okay. That's what I have at this time. I appreciate you. Okay. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace.